वेलकम टू फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस अबाउट आइसोलेटर्स यूज्ड इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री वी विल स्टार्ट दिस सीरीज ऑफ क्वेश्चंस विद वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज आइसोलेटर और व्हाट इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ आइसोलेटर वी विल सी व्हाट पीडीए डी इज पैरेंट्रल ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सेज अबाउट दिस पी डिफाइंस आइसोलेटर एज अ कंटेंट डी कंटेमिनेटेड एनवायरमेंट मीटिंग ग्रेड ए और आईएसओ फाइव कंडीशंस यूज्ड फॉर असेप्टिक प्रोसेसिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग दैट प्रोवाइड्स एन अनकॉम्प्रोमाइज्ड कंटिन्यूस आइसोलेशन ऑफ इट्स इंटीरियर फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल एनवायरनमेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर द बेसिक कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ आइसोलेटर डिजाइन यू कैन रेफर दिस बिलो स्कीमेटिक फॉर इजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ आइसोलेटर डिजाइन आइसोलेटर डिजाइन इज मेजरली डिवाइडेड इन टू द सिक्स मेजर कंपोनेंट्स कंपोनेंट ए B, C, D, E and F. Component A shows that sealed box with a window. As we know, isolated design is like a sealed box with a window. So, component A shows that. Component B shows the opening or the mouse holes for the material transfer. Component C shows HVAC or the HEPA filter which are used to maintain grade A or ISO 5 environment inside. Component D shows glow port or glows which are used for intervention inside the isolators. Component E shows VHP generator which introduces vaporized hydrogen peroxide into the isolator. Whereas the last component, component F shows that sensor to detect the VHP concentration before and after VHP decontamination cycles. Next very frequently asked question what are the advantages of using isolators. Here we will see the four major advantages. First advantage, humans are the biggest and common source of contamination in clean rooms. So aseptic isolators will protect the product by creating physical barrier. Second advantage, using isolators is cost effective procedure to maintain grade A or ISO 5 environment. Third advantage, good operator comfort and isolators are easy to operate and safe. Fourth advantage, isolators increase the sterility assurance level of a product. Next question, what are the commonly used isolator systems in pharmaceutical industry? Answer is sterility test isolator, filling isolator, compounding isolator and sampling isolator are the commonly used isolator systems in pharmaceutical industry. Next question, which gases or vapors are commonly used for gaseous sanitation? Answer is hydrogen peroxide is most commonly used gas or vapor for gaseous sanitation. Other gas or vapors used are ethylene oxide, nitrogen dioxide and chlorine dioxide. Next very frequently asked question is why hydrogen peroxide is a gas of choice or most preferred gas for gaseous sanitation or decontamination cycle. There are majorly five benefits of using hydrogen peroxide makes it a best choice for gaseous sanitation or decontamination cycle. First advantage. Hydrogen peroxide is readily available at comparatively lower cost. Second advantage, it breaks down into water and oxygen and no residue remains after decontamination cycle. Third benefit of using hydrogen peroxide is it can be aerated readily. Fourth advantage, H2O2 is less toxic than other agents. And fifth and important advantage of using hydrogen peroxide is that it is compatible with many of materials used in clean rooms. Next important question, how hydrogen peroxide act as a sanitizing agent? Answer is, it works by oxidizing proteins, DNA, RNA and other important biomolecules causing cell death. It is important to note that hydrogen peroxide is active in liquid state, not in gaseous state. Next important question, what is procedure for generation of vaporized hydrogen peroxide? Answer is 30 to 35 percent liquid hydrogen peroxide is heated up to 110 degree Celsius which leads to evaporation of hydrogen peroxide and water before getting introduced into the isolator chamber. In the isolator chamber, temperature is nominal that is approximately 25 degree Celsius. This temperature causes hydrogen peroxide to come into the liquid state. This H2O2 makes a very thin layer on the surfaces where it gets exposed resulting into the sanitation. 
Sanitation action is primarily due to liquid phase of hydrogen peroxide, not vaporized oxygen phase. Next important question, what is acceptance criteria for leak testing of isolators? Answer is commonly used isolators in pharmaceutical industry are positive isolator and negative isolator. Acceptance criteria for positive isolators as per ISO is 1% volume loss per hour, whereas in case of negative isolators, the acceptance criteria is 0.25% volume loss per hour. Next question, when we should perform glow integrity testing for isolator glows? Answer is now the regulatory expectation is that glow integrity test that is GIT should be done before and after every activity in the isolator. Any glow integrity should be handled through deviation and should include the risk assessment. Next important question, what are the commonly used methods for performing glow integrity testing? Answer is there are two commonly used methods for glow integrity testing are visual method and pressure decay method. In visual method we can detect the macro defects or the major defects and this test or this method is considered as less sensitive method whereas pressure decay method is most used or most preferred method and it is sensitive in detection of 100 to 150 micron hole or larger holes. Next important question, what are most common MOC for isolator glows? Answer is Hypalon, Epidium and Isoflex are the most common MOCs for isolator glows. Next question, for what purpose isolators are used in pharmaceutical industry? Answer is Isolators are applied wherever operator and the product safety is on high risk. The most applicable areas are oncology products, hormone products as a sampling isolator for active pharmaceutical ingredients and decontamination purpose. Next question, what is difference between closed isolators and open isolators? Closed isolators are completely closed during operation with material transfer in and out via aseptic connections. Whereas open isolators has specific openings for material transfer in and out of the isolator. These openings are designed to prevent entry of contamination, example sample out mouse holes. Next question, what should be the acceptance criteria for noise level and light level inside the isolator? Answer is background noise of 65 dB corrected is recommended for rooms containing isolator systems. This limit is in line with the recommendations of standard EN 12469 for microbiological safety cabinets. For isolators with transparent walls, a light level of 400 lux measured at working level is sufficient, whereas in case of Stainless steel isolators with the viewing window, average light level in the work area must be at least 500 lux. In second part, we will see questions related to qualification of isolators, VHP decontamination cycle and glow integrity testing. Click in front of arrow to see second part of this video. You will get link of this second part in a description box. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to channel for more informative content.